We're joined here by UNLV freshman Desi Ray Young. Desi, thank you for taking the time out of your day to talk to us. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, you know, a local girl from Las Vegas, Nevada, not too big of a move for you here to UNLV. How's the college experience been going so far? Um, it's good. I do like online better, so it is really good. <laughs> you can sleep in a little bit more? Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, you know, obviously you went to Desert Oasis, uh, your hometown girl. How special is it for you to be able to rep your city and, and play here at UNLV? Um, it's very special. Um, before Coach Lindy came, it was Coach KO, and she really put a lot of thought into having me come here. She was at all my games, even the games where I sucked, she was still there. <laughs> so it really is special to me and I can't wait for the season to start. Well, you mentioned the new coaching staff. How, how's it been so far with them? Um, it's good. She seems like she really does care about us and our health and how we feel about everything that's going on. So she's a really caring person. Now, I looked at, uh, you know, your stats last year. You averaged 13.6 points per game, 7.2 rebounds, all-state player. So you got some great scoring and some great rebounding. Can you kind of tell the uh, the Lady Royal fans a little bit about your game? Um, well, I really wasn't a great athlete. Um, I started to play AAU basketball. That's what really boosts my confidence. So AAU is where it's at. So <laughs> that really helped me. Also, um, my AAU coach, he pushed us a lot. So he made sure that we weren't always girls. You know, we didn't play like, oh, we were scared to be hit or anything like that. He made sure he gave it to us like a real life game. So that really is what actually helped me to come up. So it's kind of that you get that little kind of competitive edge. It's kind of the big thing yeah. you took away from AAU. Yeah. Okay. So, and then, you know, looking towards this year, your freshman year, what are kind of, you know, when you look at your game, what are your big strengths and what areas would you like to sit, like to improve on here in the 2020, 2021 season? Um, my biggest strength is finishing. Um, I enjoy being hit, as I said. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, one of my weaker spots would be shooting. I'm not really a bad shooter, but everyone's always seen me to drive and, oh my God, she's so strong in the paint. So, you know, that would be one of my weaknesses. Well, you said you love the contact. How's the uh, free throw shooting? Oh, my free throw shooting is, you know, it's getting there. It's better than what it was. So, hey, I'm actually, I feel more confident for the shooting free throws. So. Well, that's good. Yeah, if you, the way you're, you're describing it, you get a beast down in the paint, you'll be at the line a lot. Kind of reminds <laughs> me of RJ last year. <laughs> so, you know, with the freshman year coming along, uh, what, what are kind of the goals that you've set for yourself? Um, I've set a lot of goals for myself. Just because the season hasn't started yet, I've set a lot of academic goals, you know, just to get good grades while we aren't playing yet. So just to try to keep my grades up. Also, just making sure that I'm on top of everything because it is a lot. You know, they do give us a lot of work every single day. So just making sure that I get my assignments done before the due date or even before the time is due. That's just my main goal right now. Yeah, that's one of the one of the troubles with online classes. You can kind of put it away yeah. until the last minute. You're like, oh, no, I've got so much work to do. <laughs> So that's my one advice to you. Make sure you do, do a little bit every day so that way right. it doesn't catch up to you. Um, you know, I also wanted to ask you, you know, at Desert Oasis, you had to face, you know, Centennial High School a lot. And Centennial High School, one of the best programs, not only in the state, in the country. And it, it's tough to beat them. But now you get to uh, be teammates with a lot of these girls that you, you face off with. How excited are you to have them now as teammates instead of foes? Well, I never really had any problems with any of the Centennial girls, you know. I, I don't think, I was never intimidated by any of them. So, you know, I felt like I was intimidated my, by myself. I intimidated myself more than anyone could intimidate me. But I enjoy, you know, me and Jade, we are roommates. So I enjoy being around her. She's really nice. Um, Bailey's really nice too. Um, Mel and Justice, no one's really been around each other that much, but, you know, I know their game because I've played them already. So, you know, I know that we're all going to really get along. You know, it's, it's not high school anymore. We don't have to face each other anymore. So. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you, I heard you mention about uh, you're kind of the biggest intimidator for yourself. How do you try to uh, gain the confidence, I, I would say? 
Well, I just look at myself every day and just say, no one can stop you but you. That's exactly what I tell myself. I like no it. No one can stop you but you. That's exactly what I say. I like, I like it. That's great on the court to kind of overcome your fears. Yeah. And, and the last question I wanted to ask, I remember when I was kind of doing some research about you, I read an article in the Las Vegas Sun and uh, your, I believe it was your coach called you uh, once in a generation teammate. How do you, <laughs> you know, can you kind of describe about what makes you such a great teammate? I'm always going to ride for my teammates. Like if somebody was to get punched on the court, I'm going to punch that girl for them. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be that ride or die that they need, you know. That was my mentality, you know, like, no one's going to mess with my teammates. These are my sisters. Like, this is my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, my coach knew I'd be there. Like, I got texts, but I got texts for good reasons, you know. They made a bad call on my friend. She got hit. They ain't call it. I had to say something, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I'm just a ride or die teammate, you know. I might, I might have to give you the nickname The Enforcer for your team here at UNLV. <laughs> That's the best nickname I've heard so far. We might have to, <laughs> they have to call it the Golden Knights here. You versus <laughs> Ryan Reeves. <laughs> well, thank you, Desi, for uh, for your time, and, and can't wait to see you out on the court. Hopefully, you don't have to get in anyone's face, and uh, <laughs> it'll be nice and clean out there. Right. Thank you guys for having me. You're very much welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Right, bye bye.